Hi and welcome back. Today's story is based on Onward called Mighty Mum. Ian, Barley and Laurel agreed to help the Manticore and end up on an exciting quest. When they get into a sticky situation, will Laurel show how mighty she truly is? This is published by Autumn Publishing and let's get into it. <laughs> Early one morning, Ian, Barley and Laurel Lightfoot arrived at Manticore's tavern. The Manticore was having her to tavern return to its former glory. Thank goodness you're here, exclaimed the Manticore. The reopening is coming up fast and I need all the help I can get. The Lightfoots didn't waste any time. Ian used magic to summon equipment from the, a cupboard. Laurel grabbed a sledgehammer and began to tear down a wall. A few spiders crawled out of the hole she had made. Ugh, Laurel cried. I hate spiders. Ian laughed. Mum, you fought a dragon. Spiders are nothing. As Laurel got back to work, she came across an old nameplate. Shantor's Talon, she read. Where does this go? Nowhere. I never actually found the Talon, the manticore laughed. I'd always planned to go on a quest to retrieve it, but I got too busy running the tavern. According to legend, Ian said, pulling the quests of your book from his back backpack, Shantor's talent brought endless prosperity. Just then, the ceiling rained down debris. The manticore sighed. I could use some of this prosperity right now. We'll find the talent and display it at the grand reopening, Laurel said. A family quest, cheered Barley and Ian. I love that idea, exclaimed the manticore. The whispering elms will know the way. As the group prepared to leave, Laurel realised something. How dangerous will this be? Oh, it'll be easy for you three, said the manticore. Fear not, exclaimed Barley. The light foot fellowship shall conquer any challenge with sheer wit and strength. The Lightfoots arrived at a shop called Journey Mart. A whispering elm was handing out leaflets by the front door. Hello, said Laurel. Can you tell us how to find Shantor's talon? You must reach the centre of the labyrinth and face the mighty Minotaur, said the elm excitedly. The Lightfoots looked at each other nervously. My friend Willow will help, said the elm, pointing to another tree in the distance. Willow sent the family to the top of a hill. They were confused by what they saw on the other side. Shantor's talon is in the mall, said Ian. Oh, of course, exclaimed Barley. The labyrinth mall was at once an actual labyrinth. Inside the mall, the Lightfoot studied a giant map. The mall had multiple entrances and exits and escalators that went in every direction. An hour later, they were no closer to reaching the centre. Laurel flagged down a security guard. Barley stared. Aren't you the guardian of the labyrinth? I'm not in that business anymore, kid, the Minotaur said dully. Make a right, then a left, then another right. The Lightfoots followed the guards' instructions, but all they found was a children's play area. There's a Minotaur in the centre, cried Laurel, as she pointed to the giant ball pit. That can't be a coincidence. The family jumped into the pit and manoeuvred through the chaos. A golden crest on the Minotaur's pedestal caught Ian's eye. Laurel pulled the padding away from the pedestal and found a blocked archway. The Animate spell should do the trick, said Ian. Presto! Avar! The bricks began moving away, leaving an opening in the archway. After the light foots entered, the bricks slammed back into place. They were plunged into total darkness. Flame Infana! Ian shouted. A bright flame ignited at the top of the staff, illuminating an ancient stone staircase. Barley created a torch and led the way. Looks like the only way de out is forward. The group made their way to a massive chamber. Something doesn't feel right to me, Laurel said, coming to a halt. She found a discarded suit of armour on the ground and put it on. Maybe this will come in handy. I'll see if a danger detection spell can help us, said Ian. 
On the top of the staff glowed a deep, ominous red. Suddenly, a giant spider scooped them all up and wove them tighter and tighter into its web. Ian's staff clattered to the floor, out of reach. The manticore said this quest would be easy, cried Ian. Why did it have to be a giant spider? added Laurel. Just then, all hope seemed lost. Barley spotted something in an alcove below them. Shantor's talon, he exclaimed. It's right over there. Laurel used a sharp edge of the armour to cut them down. Although she managed to escape, the boys were still trapped in the web. She ran towards an axe across the chamber and picked it up. Laurel faced the creature. If I can defeat a dragon, I can defeat you! She dodged, weaved and rolled so quickly that the spider became disorientated. With the spider confused, Laurel freed the boys from the web. Way to go, Mum, cheered Barley. Ian grabbed his staff. They needed a diversion to escape. Kumala Masteria, Ian cried. The room filled with a thick fog. As the spider struggled to see, Laurel sprinted to the alcove and grabbed the talon. Got it, she shouted. Now let's get out of here. The Lightfoots ran out of the chamber just as the last of the fog cleared. Exhausted and exhilarated, the family arrived back at the tavern. The manticore was thrilled to see them. You did it, she exclaimed. Like I said, piece of cake, right? Laurel, Barley and Ian looked at each other and smiled. The manticore placed the talon on the wall along with her other relics. I'm finally ready for my grand reopening, she said. She looked around at the construction chaos. Well, almost. I gotta hand it to you, Mum, Barley said. That was pretty cool. We're lucky to have such a fearless and mighty mum, Ian added. Laurel smiled and gave him a big hug. Nothing stands in the way of the right foot. Not even a spider, Ian and Barley cried. Thanks for watching this video. If you've got any characters that you'd like a story of, write them in the comments below and I'll see if I've got a story that I could share with you. Thanks for watching and I will see you real soon.